friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and today we're talking all about flat lays. I'm going to show you how to create your very own setup so you can take your own product photos or Instagram photos at home. And the cool part is you don't even need to be a photographer. All you need is $10 worth of materials from the dollar store and a camera. And that camera could even be your smartphone. So anyone can do this. Let's hop right in. I'm really excited to show you how it all works. Okay, first up, you're gonna need to go shopping. I found all these materials at the dollar store and I'm sure any dollar store will carry this kind of stuff, but you could also find it at any local craft store as well. You're gonna need three pieces of foam core. Two of those have to be white because you're gonna be using those as reflectors, but the third one, you could use any color you want because that's what's going to be your background, what you're gonna be laying your pieces that you're gonna be shooting on. So that could be pink, purple, black, any color that matches your brand and the style of photo that you're looking for. All right, apart from those crafting materials, all you're going to need now is your camera. Like I said before, that could be a smartphone or a DSLR, any camera will do, and your props. Obviously, whatever you want to have photographed, have those on hand. Now, you're going to want to place yourself near a large window. So find a large window in your house and just make sure that the sunlight is not directly shining in creating harsh shadows. Um, if you're shooting at night or if you don't have a window accessible, you could always use artificial light like a softbox, but I'm going to show you how to do this with a window just because most people won't have a softbox on hand, but the technique will stay the same with the softbox or with the window. Last item you're going to want to find from around your house is a chair, a step stool, or a small ladder. This is just so you can get higher up and shoot directly above your flat lay. All right, now is the exciting part. I'm going to show you exactly how to place all these materials together to create your perfect flat lay. Step one, place your foam core board that you want as the background of your photo flat on a table or on the ground in front of a window. Step two, Find a way to stand up the white foam core board right in front of your light source. This will act as a reflector and fill in the shadows on the other side of the light source. If you want to fill in even more shadows, you can place that third white foam core board standing up to create an L with the first one that you just placed. That'll reflect even more light and fill in even more shadows. Step three, place all your items on the board. You can get really creative here, so go ahead, go crazy, take any kind of photo you want. But I'm still going to share with you a few tips on how to create those classic flat lay photos that you've seen on Instagram in case you wanted to keep a more traditional style and stick with that look. First tip would be color palette. Try to stick with items that have similar colors or similar tones. This just helps bring all your items together in the photo and makes it look pleasing to the eye. Second tip would be to use negative space. Don't be afraid to leave some empty spaces on your flat lay. This avoids your photo looking cluttered and avoids making the items that you are photographing get lost in everything else that's going on. Third tip would be to create a focal point. Make sure to choose maybe one or two items to place in your photo and then decorate that with smaller items. That way, let's say you're shooting your product, people are not confused as to which is your product in your photo. It'll be obvious that the larger item is what you're trying to sell or what you're showing off and then everything else around it will just be decorative. Fourth tip would be to create layers. Don't be afraid to place items on top of each other in the flat lay. This just adds a little bit more depth to the photo and makes it look even more realistic. So for example, place a sweater and then place your plate on top of it or place a notebook and have the pens lying on top of it with a coffee cup on it. This again adds a little bit of realism and makes your photo look like it wasn't staged, even though it totally is. <laughs> Alrighty, now is the fun part. Your items are all placed, your lighting is good, it's time to take your photo. If your items are on the ground, you might not need a step stool if you're tall enough to go directly above it. If your items are on a table or a little bit higher, just step up on the step stool or on a sturdy chair and then make sure that you're directly above your flat lay and snap the photo. Be careful not to create any shadows with your body, so be sure that you're standing on the other side of the light source, that way you're not creating shadows on the flat lay itself. Alrighty friends, 
that is it. That is all about flat lays. I hope you found this video useful and I really hope you create some beautiful photos using these tips. I want to see your photos. I want to see your results. So tag me on Instagram, tag me on Facebook, tag me wherever you share these photos because I want to see them. I want to give you a like and I want to give you a follow. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment below if you have any questions and last but not least, subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on all the future videos. Until next time, friends, have a good one. Bye. Luna. If you saw the mic moving, it's because of her.